Hello everyone, this is Henry. As an IT support engineer of Re Marketing Department, which consists of a main headquarters and two branches, we require a secure wide area network to facilitate our OA system access and CCTV monitoring and internal server access from different locations. Previously, when using traditional VPN solution, I encountered several challenges. One, our existing IPsec VPN is very unstable and suffers from high latency. Two, the process of applying public IP for new branch is very difficult and the annual rental is very high. Three, deploying configuration to branch uh, gateways requires on-site personal, which is time-consuming and labor-intensive. Four, unable to effectively monitor and control the overall network environment in real time. After the release of re Engine Link, it perfectly solves all my problems. Next, my colleagues and I are going to demo how easy the setup of AnyLink is and how it can integrate with our existing network environment and provide enhanced performance and stability. We can create a SD1 group by clicking Batch Configurations if we want to engage more group settings later. Simply select at least two projects. All project locations will be shown on the map. Click Pre-Configuration to engage more ZTP settings. Name the template first. Let's set an overall project password for all branches. Also, we can set the unified SSID for all branches. The configuration template can be shared as a QR code. Hello everyone, this is Joshua from Chongqing branch. And I already received the QR code from the headquarters. Now let's scan the QR code for our SD1 networking configuration. Okay, let's open our re app and scan the QR code. Great, we already uh, finished our SD1 networking configuration. And uh, although the branch gateway only has a private IP, but as you can see, the SD1 networking uh, is still so smooth and fast. Thank you, Joshua. Branch 2 is 2,000 kilometers away from the headquarters and lacks technical staff. We can firstly ban the gateway's SN code in the pre-config template, then send the device out, allowing anyone to connect it directly upon arrival, and all settings will be done automatically. Now, I have banned this EG105GV3 device successfully to our SD1. Next, I will send it to someone in Fuzhou branch. He can simply connect it. Connect EG10GV3 to a 4G1. The gateway will be banded to the project automatically. We can check the real-time status in deployment logs. Next, add the new branch 2 project in SD1 group. Now, all projects of headquarters and branches are in the SD1 group. We can link up the SD1 now by clicking New Network. Choose the wanted VLANs and click Create a SD1. The SD1 will be linked very soon. We can also check the process in monitoring. Wait for 2 minutes and the dashboard will update. All web, link, device, app, client, details are in visual. The best link status should be peer-to-peer. -peer. Hi, Henry. Hi, boss. Henry, we need to launch a version update to all branches. Mm -hmm. Firstly, we need to use the latest EG1510XS background as a Wi-Fi login page. And secondly, I need to view CTV of all branches. 
I heard that you have launched a new solution. Can you do it immediately? Sure, boss. With the help of Ray and Link, I can do that within five minutes. Wow, great. Let's begin. Yep. Choose the corresponding VLANs in SD1 and add a portal page. Update the background image as both required. Check the preview and then deliver the configurations. All settings are delivered to online routers instantly and all the logs are saved. Let's check the new portal page via a mobile phone. Connect to our branch's Wi-Fi. And the portal page is updated successfully. Next, we can access the internal IP address of other branches CCTV directly from the headquarters. Yes, the latency of CCTV is half of what it was before.